Hello parents, parents-to-be and lovers of parenting content. You are welcome to yet another class with me right here. My name is Ini and you are definitely watching Parenting with Ini. This is where I get, we get to navigate through parenting together, okay? So in today's video, guys, I want to talk about, um, I want to talk to parents about respecting the instinct of their children. You know, many a times we feel like as parents, we know too much or we know better than our children that we take, to, we get, we get to ignore um, our children's instincts, their feelings, or even the things that they tell us. And I want to tell us that it is not the right approach to, you know, to take as a parent when you're relating with your children. These children are very smart, very, very smart, guys. If you listen to your children critically well, you will experience the wisdom that comes out of them. So do not ignore the instinct of your children. Whenever they're trying to tell you something, pay attention to it. I know at times children just take advantage of your attention. I know at times they push you to the wall. To the wall. I know at times they can actually just say nothing, literally nothing. <laughs> or whatever you may tend to say, like nothing, basically, okay? I don't want to use any cast word, but yeah. So, but... Just listen to them first. I always say, listen to them first. And then if whatever they're saying is not making sense, eh, then now you can probably just make a decision from there. But don't dismiss them from the word go because they could be pointing you out to something. They could be pointing you out to danger. They could be pointing you out to something that is happening to them at home or in school or at church. Do not ignore them. Don't always feel like the older person is always right. What do I mean? For for instance, at times you discover that probably, maybe let's say for instance, you have a nanny in the house, okay? And every time your child is trying to tell you something that happened in the house that he or she did not like, you know, about your nanny. you Most times you find parents who tend to want to hear from the nanny, right? And you want to lean toward what the nanny is telling you because number one, the nanny is older, is an adult, your child is a baby. So someone will be like, why would you even believe what the baby is telling you? So... With that, already the child is dismissed and whatever the nanny says is what stands. The same happens even in schools. You want to listen to the teacher and ignore what your own child is saying. And with that, you discover that you are not doing the right thing. You are actually, in a nutshell, suppressing the truth. Because if you listen to your child and listen to the nanny, trust me, at some point you'll be able to find some links and connections that will lead you towards leaning more towards the, the truth okay so i'm here to encourage parents your child might be very young month old one year old two years old three years old whatever age it is do not ignore your child do not ignore them listen to them just listen fast to them and then now you'll be able to judge whether whatever they're saying does not make sense or it actually makes sense do not be quick to dismiss your children and that's one thing that I am just pointing out here. Don't be quick as a parent to dismiss your children because you might be dismissing a very important information or something that is probably happening to them, what they are going on, what is going on in their life, sorry, just because you didn't give them a listening ear. And that's how it goes. And then later on, it blows out and then you're like, why didn't you tell me this? Why didn't I know about it? They tried telling you, but you were too busy or you ignored them or you shut them. And that's the problem that is going on to in today's world with, between parents and children. Uh, or another time, you also discover that your child wants to now talk to someone else, but not you because you're always ignoring them. You're always telling them to shut up. You're always telling them that they're not saying anything or whatever they're saying doesn't make sense. So they want to talk to someone else who is actually paying attention to them. But now the problem is you don't have an idea who this person might be. It might be them talking to the wrong person, you know, or to an opposite um, gender who might take advantage of them. Or just, you don't know, just as a parent, your child should be safer in your, in, in, with you, should be safer in your, in your presence, you know. Let them tell you whatever it is they want to tell you. Then now, after that, you can now judge, <laughs> this doesn't make sense, or this child is just trying to disturb my peace, or, or just trying to disturb me or something. Then now you'll be able to know how to handle whatever it is they have told you. Because if you dismiss them from the word go, you might be dismissing an imp important information that they are trying to tell you that is going on with them. Another thing that can happen when you always quick to dismiss your children whenever they're trying to talk to you is that you push them away. You push your child away and what happens there is that 
that bond that you're supposed to have with your child is no longer there because you don't let them talk to you. You don't let them talk to you. So what is it? That relationship is not there. That bond is not there. As they grow, they grow away from you. As they grow, they grow away from you. They don't want to do anything with you. They don't want to have anything to do with you. And you discover that they now become, they start having other friends outside, you know, and you become more lonely because you've lost your children. Literally, yes, they have left. <laughs> they have left. And you'll be alone. So please, let's encourage that bond between children and parents and do not ignore the instinct of your child. At times, you might be going through a situation and your child walks into the room. Don't tell them, you're too young. What do you know? Get out of this place. Close the door. Leave me alone. No, no. When they see you in that state, at times, some of your child, sometimes your child can even come and ask you, mommy, what is going on? What is wrong? Are you okay? Daddy, what is it? Are you okay? What is the problem? Do you know you can actually tell them? You don't have to tell them like everything, you know, because again, you have to be sensitive to their age and everything. But you can just tell them, you know, in 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 conclusion or in an understanding of a child. Like, mommy is not okay. Uh, mommy is not feeling okay. Mommy is feeling bad. But mommy will be fine. Okay? So at least they know mommy is not okay. Okay? And they, and you never know. They can just say something that can just bring your healing. They can say something that can bring the solution to whatever it is that you are you're looking for. They can even just pray for you. I've experienced that quite a, a number of times. Not so many times, of course. <laughs> but at least one or twice, you know, that I have experienced that with my children where probably I wasn't feeling too well or, you know, and they just came and they were like, mommy, are you okay? And I'm like, mommy, is not feeling okay, but she'll be fine, okay? And they'll be like, oh, mommy, sorry, can we pray for you? And then they literally pray for me or they'll be like, okay, mommy, lie down, you'll be fine, okay? And then they will even cover me with a duvet or something. That feels so good. That's their own little way to show that they care about how you feel. It's as little as it is, but trust me, it means a lot. And they can even say something, mommy, don't worry, be happy. Mommy, can you just smile? Do you know probably that was just what you needed to do? Just take a smile. Sometimes they might even see danger, you know, on the road or at the door. They're trying to alert you, mommy, daddy, something is happening. But because you're too occupied, you're like, shut up your mouth, go sit down, get out of this place. No, 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 no. And that's how you dismiss. And then, boom, danger, you're like child tried to tell me this child tried to warn me i did not see it so please parents just be patient with your children i know this is something that any of us can be a victim to like you know overreacting and not just paying attention to these children and you know ignoring them thinking they're just such they're just that's just a child you know and all that but let's learn to be more patient with our children let's learn to listen to them because god might be telling you something but through your little child through your little baby, through your little girl, through your little boy, don't ignore them. Take it seriously going forward. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope it has probably helped in one way or the other. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Leave a like in this video, please. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and share to as many people as possible. I would love to have you people join this amazing family of parenting with Amy. Let's continue to navigate through parenting together. See you in my next video. Until then, stay positive always and take good care of those blessings that God has given to you.